Hi, welcome to the channel. And in this video, we're going to teach you how to use the trade copier Sierra chart. We're going to teach you how to use this copier function to turbocharge your profit. So stay with me and let me show you how this works. So what exactly is the trade copier? Sierra Chart has a feature that allows you to copy trades across accounts. Wait a minute, I need to give you a disclaimer here. This video makes some assumptions. Assumption number one is that you already have Sierra Chart installed and you at least have a basic working knowledge of how it works. Assumption number two is that you have a profitable strategy. I really strongly do not encourage you to copy trades across accounts if you don't first have a strategy that has proven to be profitable. Otherwise, you are going to over leverage yourself and cause yourself tremendous damage. You don't want to do that. Now, if you don't have a system that works, go ahead and check down in the description and I'll have links to things that can help you to learn the system that I trade and become a professional trader just like me. Assumption number three, I only have experience using this function with Apex Trader Funding. Apex Trader Funding is who I'm funded with, who is the prop firm that I use. And I use this daily to copy trades between accounts. I currently have 12 accounts that are funded that I'm using this copier function with. I don't have experience this in any of the other prop firms or any other types of accounts that you may use it for. So I just wanna let you know about that in the beginning. I'm not saying that you can't use it for others because you can, but my personal experience is the rhythmic connection through Apex Trader Funding, and you can find a link for Apex down in the description below. Okay, so first, let's take a look at the Sierra Chart website, the help guide, so that we can see what's going on here. It really truly looks like it was made in 1922, but it does have really good information in there, and it is relevant, and it is updated, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that right now. Okay, this is the order allocation to trade accounts page. This is what we call the trade copy or Sierra chart calls order allocation to trade accounts. And what's important here is we're going to read this piece at the top that is highlighted in green. And it says, important notice, the order allocation to trade accounts functionality has been developed in response to user requests. It does work properly based upon its design. However, there is no guarantee it's going to work as you would want because orders can be rejected or not processed or not fill or fill at different times for reasons outside of the control of this functionality, resulting in inconsistencies among trade accounts. Sierra Chart support does not provide any trade analysis for problems when using the order allocation to trade accounts functionality. We do not have the time or the interest to be analyzing your trading activity and the behavior of external trading services. Please understand that. We care that the functionality works as it is designed, and it does. We do not care about all the trading that you are doing. Once again, we do not care. Please do not burden us with this. That is your responsibility. The analysis is your responsibility. Your trading is your burden, not ours. We do not want to be burdened with your trading and all the issues which externally occur. We will immediately reject any support requests regarding problems with this functionality. You need to use the trade activity log to analyze all the other activity and resulting trade positions. So what that really means is that it's your responsibility to take care of your trades. Don't worry about, um, you know, if something goes wrong, which it will, it's going to go wrong. If you're using Apex, you can use something called Rhythmic Trader Pro and it will allow you to see what positions are open in Rhythmic. And yes, sometimes a trade copier fails. Sometimes it orders get rejected and it doesn't work exactly the way that it's supposed to. So it's your responsibility to look after you've determined that, say, your target gets hit or you would go flat in your position or whatever, you need to go look and make sure that your positions match what you've done in in our Sierra chart because it will at least once a week fail somewhere and you'll have positions open and I don't say this to scare you I just want you to know ahead of time going in that you need to go and double check so that you don't have anything running that you weren't aware was there or a stop got hit and somehow the position got reversed I've seen that happen too you just have to have the window open so that you can monitor to make sure that we, when you're out of positions and you think you're out of positions you can verify that by looking over at your other screen whether that's Rhythmic Pro and you can also look in the trade positions window that's located inside Sierra charts Okay, now let's talk about data services. With data services, whatever service that you're logged into at that current time is the only service that you can copy uh, the trades through. So if I'm logged into Rhythmic through Apex, I can only copy through Rhythmic on Apex to other Apex accounts. 
I can't copy across CQG or any of the other data feeds that exist. However, I might be wrong about this and I'm not entirely sure. And if I am, please comment down below and let me know how you use the trade copier to copy between different accounts. Uh, like I said in the, previously in the video, I only have experience doing this with Apex. So I want to leave it at that and just keep it simple for the sake of doing this in this video. Okay, here we go. The moment you have been waiting for. This is the trade copier. So we're going to go in here. We're going to make sure that the DOM window is highlighted. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that that window is selected not that big. And then we're going to go over to trade. We're going to go over to the trade menu and we're going to click attach trade window to chart. And that'll give us the control panel for this particular trade window. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click the letter M. We'll click the letter M and then we're going to go ahead and click settings. And then we're going to go ahead and do order allocation to trade accounts. That's where the copier lists are. So we go ahead. Remember it's M settings order allocation to trade accounts and once we're in here this is where the lists are so there's two lists there's the available accounts list and then there's the allocation accounts the all allocation account list that's the list of where you're going to copy to so this is my funded accounts here through apex and uh i'm the, when i first started the video i had more i, I had blown up a few some of the smaller ones and uh, that's why now you can see I'm trading back down in sim and working out my system and my entries but nonetheless I can show you how this copy works anyway with this so in that available accounts that's where the accounts are that you have available and down here is the order allocation list and those are the actual accounts that we're going to be copying so I'm going to go ahead and clear that list out I'm just going to take all of them out of there so that you can see how we add them in so we're going to make it so that there's nothing in there we'll clear that list out completely right so now it's not copying to anything and then what we'll do is use the available accounts list and this came from our data service we're logged into our data service and these are the accounts so we'll start with number two and i'll add it and then we'll go ahead and get number three and we'll click the button add we'll go ahead and get number four we'll click add and so on and so forth and i'm just going to go ahead and keep now i want to show you this interesting thing here too let's just say for whatever the reason on number four i wanted to put make everything two on this one. So I put one on the main account, everything else has one, but I can make this one have two. So anything I do in the account, this one will multiply by two. Well, you know, in case you don't always have to, and it does make it so that it's only happening on that one particular account. You don't have to do this though. I'm just showing you like if you had a reason to do this, you can make it so that you can do this in multiples across different accounts. It's really interesting. But anyway, so we'll add number five, we'll add number six, we're going to go ahead and add number nine. And now we have the full list. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, why didn't, why didn't you add number one? And I'll show you. So let's go ahead and apply all and click OK. So now we have the list that's in here, right? And then from the drop down, I'm going to select number one because that's the one that I'm going to be trading from, right? So I'm going to be trading in number one, and it's going to copy through to the rest of those accounts, two through nine or whatever it was. So also, you need to make sure... So everything here is in there. Now all these accounts are in the, in the uh, this is the list of accounts that we're gonna be copying to, which is perfect. And then we go ahead and you gotta make sure this box is checked when you're here. Settings, and that thing that says enable order accounts, that's what turns it on. You have to have that checked. And it's really, every time you load up Sierra charts, you need to make sure it's checked. It's not on by default and you have to go in and manually set it every time. There is a global setting that'll force it to be on, but I'll let you look that up in the help file on your own because you don't really, it's kind of not so safe unless you're going to always be doing this. And then at that point, you'll be able to go ahead and find that setting through the help files and set it. But for right now, just to keep it easier, you know, you make it like this <clears throat> and you have to do it each time you come in here and click this to make sure that's what you actually want to do. It's just something Sierra has to uh, protect, protect you. So you're not like just blowing up accounts, not realizing you're copying all over the place. They want you to be intentional about it. So anyway, now that you have it all set up to go and everything's ready, it's also important to remember, um, remember that disclaimer we said that uh, it's our responsibility to make sure about what trades are on here. So we click trade and there is a trade, so trade, trade positions window. And this window here, I'm going to bring it over, will show you when you put a position on and we actually fill one, the market's closed right now, we can't, but you fill one and it copies them, you're going to see all the accounts in this window. It's going to show you all the different accounts and where, how many of each one are on. And it's really nice because there's also flatten buttons. So if something does go wrong, you can go in here and flatten, the flatten all, or you can click flatten and just 
do one at a time, but this is one way to monitor what's going on within Sierra. It's also, if you have Rhythmic Trader Pro or something through Apex to be able to actually monitor what's going on on the data feed, uh, I do highly recommend that you use that. It depends on what uh, platform you're on or what uh, prop firm or services that you're using. But that's the gist of it. That's basically what we have. So you put on your positions and you monitor them here just to make sure nothing's going wrong and you keep on top of it and everything will work out. Sometimes it goes wrong. I'm not trying that to scare you. I just want you to be aware of it before you get involved so that you know. Also remember, you have to go turn that thing on, the uh, enable order allocation to trade accounts under the M button in here in the, uh, the trade window. And that's it. That's basically everything. So if you guys like this, please subscribe. Please go down there and smash that subscribe button, smash the like button, leave me a comment if you have any questions. Like I said, I've only done this through Apex. Also, there'll be links down there to Apex Trader Funding uh, if you want to get involved with that. And I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.